So today we'll be adjusting an inhibitor switch. That's a sensor that's usually located on the transmission and it's really a safety sensor just to verify that the vehicle can only crank in park or neutral. However, sometimes they come out of alignment, meaning maybe you have to put the car neutral to start the vehicle, we have to shake the gear lever. So I'll show you the steps that you need to go through just to line everything back up and make sure you're in good shape. Now the inhibitor switch is located toward the bottom on the driver's side on this specific vehicle. Now if you're not sure where it's located on your vehicle, I've said this in other films, but just Google image your vehicle. So whatever kind of vehicle you have, let's say a 2003 Honda Accord inhibitor switch, Google image that and a lot of times you can find exactly where the switch is located. So let's go from underneath the vehicle and we'll get clear access to it. As you can see I've already jacked up the vehicle, placed it on jack stands. We'll need to remove this plastic cover right here and we'll have clear access to the sensor. Spray a little WD-40 PB blaster. This is where the inhibitor switch is located. As you can see, you have a little lever right here. And the way that this works is when you put the car in reverse and neutral and drive, this plunger moves up and then it corresponds with the movement of the um, inhibitor switch. And I'll show you in a moment what that looks like. To do the adjustment, loosen up and remove this bracket. You need to loosen up the three bolts in this case that hold the uh, sensor to the transmission and we'll line up this bracket with this little guy right here. Now this happens to be a 12 millimeter. We'll get a good grip on it here. Okay. And very quickly, let me just show you the way that this works. Right now, we're still in the park position. Now, when you put the gear lever in the car to reverse, this little guy goes to this, okay? And then we have neutral, drive, second gear, and then low first gear. And that's it. So, if this sensor is not in park or neutral, then the starter just won't crank. But again, sometimes it gets confused if it's out of alignment and it may think it's in reverse or drive and nothing happens. So to line this up, we just need to remove the one, two, you have three, in this case, eight millimeter bolts. We'll loosen them up. You don't have to remove them so we can move this sucker around and then we'll get a little pin to line up this bracket with this guy right here. Let's loosen up these guys. And one here. One right here. And you have another one right here. Let me get an extension. Okay. Now what you need to do is line up this lever with, let me see if we get a camera here. Uh, let's see. Actually, let me move this out so you can see it. This guy right here. So again, this hole has to line up with this guy. It's just tough to see with the camera, but in this case, I'm using an Allen key. This is, uh, what is this, 9 64th of an inch. Place it through here. And uh, right now I'm off. It's hard to see. So what I'm going to do is rotate this. And there we go. Now I'm completely aligned. So again, you want to insert something as close to possible as the thickness of the opening. This happens to be four millimeters. I don't have anything that long. But in this case, this will do 960 fourths of an inch. I'm completely aligned. So now we just need to tie down these bolts. 
and then we'll test everything to make sure that we're in good shape. Now let's check the sensor. If we put the car in reverse or drive second or first gear, nothing should happen. The car should not crank. So reverse, nothing happens, okay. Drive, zero, second gear, okay, first gear, nothing. Okay, so that's good. Now we should get a crank which we do, okay. Let's also try park. All right. Okay, so we're in good shape. So that's all it really takes to adjust one of these sensors. Now, if you continue to have a problem, then you can test the sensor, and we already have a video showing in detail how you can test the sensor and checking the continuity from park, reverse, neutral, drive, second, first gear on the sensor. and you can really pinpoint what's going on. So thank you for watching and uh, we'll see you next time.